Good morning. Welcome to Talking Movies. I'm Spling. This week we're talking about a crowd-pleasing underdog drama, a heart-rending documentary, and a delightful comedy drama. Starting off with a movie currently on circuit, Boy Choir. A troubled and angry orphan from a small Texas town ends up at a boy choir school after the death of his single mom. It's from director Francois Girard. He's best known for The Red Violin and Silk. It stars Dustin Hoffman, Josh Lucas and Garrett Waring. We've seen many underdog movies and no matter how well worn the path, it's still pleasing to reach the view of the valley before coming down again. Boy Choir is a formulaic, coming-of-age drama in this sense. It's predictable, safe and eager to please its audience. The ensemble is bolstered by Oscar winners Dustin Hoffman and Kathy Bates in supporting roles and spiced with the likes of Eddie Izzard and young Garrett Waring. Everything does its job and is orchestrated to the tune of soaring choral arrangements. There aren't any standout performances, really, and nothing is surprising as the drama escalates. But it remains engaging and enjoyable, setting out and achieving its modest goals. You could call it Whiplash Junior in the way both tell similar stories, but with a much lesser intensity across the board in Boy Choir. I gave it a satisfactory six on the splingometer. Then moving on to another film now showing, Glory Game, the Joost van der Westhuizen story. This tells the story of Joost van der Westhuizen's life, from legendary Springbok rugby player and media icon to being diagnosed with motor neuron disease and beyond. It's from director Odette Schwegler. This is emotionally powerful, and Joost's spirited life drives this touching documentary. Glory Game sets about celebrating his sporting triumphs, composing his history, touching on his media presence, and dealing with aspects around the rare disease. We relive the 1995 Rugby World Cup from his perspective, learn of the respect he garnered from contemporaries, and hear from the man himself as he copes with ALS. It's a fascinating and touching journey as a sporting legend's sheer determination keeps him motivated in the most trying of conditions. His life has been characterized by fighting the good fight, and it shows in every account. It's emotionally charged and entertaining as the story moves from his personal glory to working towards a much more selfless agenda. Joost is a figurehead for the disease and this documentary will help create awareness. I ended up giving that one an excellent eight on the splingometer. And finally, a new rental, Infinitely Polar Bear. A manic depressive mess of a father tries to win back his wife by attempting to take full responsibility of their two young spirited daughters. It's written and directed by Maya Forbes and stars Mark Ruffalo, Zoe Saldana and Imogen Wolodarsky. This is a colorful, amusing, delightful and tender comedy drama. Mark Ruffalo turns ordinary films into extraordinary films with his natural charm and warm screen presence. He's at his most eccentric as a husband and father struggling with bipolar disorder. While a very serious condition, the film marries the world of light and dark into a quirky blend of honest moments across the seasons of life. It's predictable as Ruffalo bounces off the walls with the role of parent and child flickering between him and his daughters. It's a short and earnest film coming in at 78 minutes but centered around a strong lead performance and filled with bounding optimism and ceaseless fun. It would have been interesting to see what would have been achieved under the direction of Noah Baumbach but for the most part, it works. I gave it a satisfactory six on the splingometer. So just to wrap up, Boy Choir, a by the numbers coming of age drama with soaring music and quality ingredients, a satisfactory six. Then Glory Game, the Joost van der Westhuizen story, a touching celebration of a South African icon's life and ALS awareness documentary, an excellent eight. And finally, Infinitely Polar Bear, a delightful comedy drama with a fine lead performance, a satisfactory six. For more movie reviews, interviews and features, visit spling.co.za or spling.mobi on the go. And remember, don't wing it, spling it.